Welcome back to Operation Rook, one life event hosted by squadops.gg. My name is Karmika. I'm the director and founder here at squadops. I'm joined by CMYK Matter, one of our uh, content creation leads, and Penn, who's behind the scenes mixing all the magic together. Uh, we're in here for round two. We have now swapped sides, and we're getting ready for the second round of session two. Going to be an interesting one. You know, the first one we saw how the Russian assault started beautifully. And then it just kind of fell apart for him at the end. You talked about that mix of infantry and mortar pressure and the necessity to keep that mix healthy and alive. And we saw what happened whenever you don't do that. Pony kind of dumped his mortars early. And then whenever it was time for the infantry to push, they had nothing to keep the heads down of the U.S. whenever they made that push and ended up getting wiped at the end of that one. Yeah, you have to... Pony. You have to be able to draw that enemy infantry out into the open. And one way to do that is to force them to watch the entrances. And the only way that happens is if you have that infantry pressure there to pull them out. Otherwise, they just sit in buildings and then you're going to get uh, you're gonna get camped at the end because there's nothing to keep them out of the open when you're pushing in with the infantry. So really, really weird choice by Pony. He, he managed to snag that logistical truck, but then at the end there, he kind of fell apart. There was a weird call. Compound Pounds didn't get cleared properly. Vehicles rushed in. It was it was extremely messy near the end, and I'm not sure why that was, but we'll see if he's able to shape in it up, get a solid defense going, and hold the uh, the line here for the Americans. Right, and while we are getting set up here, I think it's a good opportunity to remind everybody that uh, throughout the entirety of this cast, as we're flying around overhead here, the U.S. forces are going to be the red outlines on your screen, so anybody that you see as a red outline is a U.S. force. They are the defenders. Anybody who is a blue outline is going to be your Russian forces. They are the attackers. Well, we've got a minute. I think we might go ahead and bring up that op doc again and let you guys see how this whole thing runs. All right. So this is a face-off on Narva between the Russians and the U.S. forces. For the Russians, they get two ARs, one lat, and one medic per squad. They also get access to two MTLB NSVTs, one transport truck, and if they can retrieve that logistical truck from the gas station, they are able to set up a mortar cop east of the Delta Echo line. For the U.S., they get two ARs, two lats, one medic per squad, and they are able to take two logistical trucks, and those logistical trucks can just run all day. So, the basis of this is that Russian forces were at the gas station with their Lodgy truck, and they were repelled by U.S. forces attacking Herman Castle. As Russia retreated, they had to leave their Lodgy truck sitting at the gas station. Russia is now trying to retake that Lodgy truck and retake Herman Castle. Herman Castle being the main defensive location for the U.S. The U.S. gets to build two mortars and four HMGs on that, as well as just running Lodgy all day. And this is the location of that defense. You can see it coming in view here as all of the U.S. kind of push their forces into here. This is going to be that defensive location. Mortars, or the location of Herman Castle is a really interesting one. So you've got a lower courtyard that has a couple of buildings scattered around it as well as a little nice wheat field there. Then you've got a great overwatch compound on the southwest corner. Up on the north and east side, you've got a nice big old platform up here where you can set up a lot of different defenses. Now, as we talk about entrances, there's a couple different entrances to this. One entrance is here on the northeast side. It's an iron door, hard to push up these stairs and get through. Another entrance is over here on the eastern side. They're able to jump up these rocks, walk along this area here, and maneuver in here. Now, we don't allow parkour or anything like that, but this has been determined a valid entrance just due to the fact that it's what easily body width to walk across it. Another entrance is going to be this southeastern one here. can be a tough one because it's overlooked by those palisades on the southwestern side. Tough way to maneuver in here, but it can be done. Another entrance is on the west side where you have to cross a big old bridge to get in here. It's going to be difficult for them to get in that way. And this northwest entrance is a wide open broken wall that you are able to just kind of walk in, but you are at the lower level and you're kind of under the mercy 
of the any emplacements that they would have up on that eastern side. So a lot of tough entrances. This place is not an easy area to assault, but we'll see if the Russian forces are able to repeat their success from round one and or not repeat their success. We'll see if Jack LaRue is able to repeat his success from uh, round one and get in there. See what's going to happen. All right. Looks like both teams are getting ready to start their briefings. As always, in every squad ops match, we do have commanders and platoon briefings to ensure that everyone has the proper plan and structure in place before we start the op. Uh, once again, these are one life operations. So if you do die, that is it. You're done for the uh, match. And uh, yeah, we're going to roll in here. If you'd like to learn more about squadops.gg, go ahead and check out our website and our YouTube page at youtube.com slash squadops and uh, squadops.gg itself to learn more about our public service, our private service, and our training. Yeah, a lot of great videos up there. You can watch all of our previous ops. We upload all of them. It's a really nice channel. You can also check out all the trailers we have. We got to show you guys the basic and AWS trailer during the break, but we've got some other ones. All right, looks like Russian is going to start their briefing. We're going to listen in to what LaRue has planned for this operation. Make sure you get out of it, out of the truck. Yeah, yeah. Something happens if you just go straight. Did you get your way to some pipe? Where is it? Other side, Google. Cool. It's out on the northeast oh. side. Yeah, we got it. Our admins are doing it. I wonder who's next. All right, is this everybody? Everyone can hear me? Yes. All right, awesome work on uh, round one, guys. That was a solid defense. You guys uh, made uh, the White House proud on that one. The Just the so, uh, so welcome to uh, Squad Ops Operation Rook. This is round two. Uh, we have been given orders from the Kremlin that they want us to eliminate the filthy American pigs from our castle home in Narva. And the way we're going to do that, as soon as the logic passes. All right, the way that we're going to do that is. Um, we're going to load the entire tune up into our three vehicles. We're going to drive them along the southern MSR all the way up to the friendly fob mark. There. That's going to be where we're going to drive them. From there, we're going to drive them to the new friendly fob mark. There, and that's our staging point. That is our staging point right there. From there, we're going to dismount, and uh, we're going to have squad one push up all the way to the MG mark uh, near US Main. Squad 2 to the uh, RPG mark. And Squad 3 to the Sniper mark. Alright, so that's how it's going to look. Like this. Squad 1 at the north, Squad 2 in the middle, Squad 3 in the bottom. Squad 4 is going to be running vehicles and they're going to have uh, all the vehicles here on a staging point for them. on the mark. And what they're going to do there, they're going to uh, uh, do a security halt, pull 360 engines off. Uh, once we're set, we all the squad leads call set, we're going to start walking them in. Squad 1 is going to cross to the north side of the road and they're going to clear all the buildings around on the north side. Squad 2 is going to clear all the buildings on the east side. And Squad 3 is going to cross into Bravo and clear all the buildings in Bravo around there. So when it's finished... Can somebody get the final triangle marks on them? So when it's finished, uh, this is how it's going to look with uh, Squad 1 on the north, Squad 2 on the east, and Squad 3 Bravo. We're going to form a triangle perimeter around the Logi. When that happens, Squad 4 is going to drive their vehicles up. They're going to uh, be pulling security for our, uh, our Logi. One of the Squad 4 members is going to hop out, grab the Logi, and we're going to completely exfil the platoon down to the new staging mark, which is the friendly fob mark. That will be our new staging mark from, from there. From there, we're gonna set up a. From there, we're gonna set up a mortar position around there. Squad uh, Squad One is gonna be on mortars again because they did a good job. Uh, we're gonna set the platoon up again on the south side, and we're gonna walk them in under mortar cover, and we're gonna breach on the south side, southeast sides. Anyone have any questions? You it's said uh, Squad Two was on the east, but yeah, you put the rocket will, mark on the west. So did you mean west? Like squad twos on the yes. west. Just yeah. Okay. Just listen to your squad leads. Um, uh, they they've been fully briefed on what we're doing. Uh, they'll go into more detail when we're driving over there. 
Just remember, uh, sweep and clear every single building. I don't want any sneaky lats blowing up our transport before we can get to it. Or, uh, sorry, our lodge before we can get to it. All right, does anyone have any other questions? All right, perfect. Um, squad leads break out. Let's get these vehicles set and we'll uh, prep for life. Squad three is going to move back up to the castle and then they're going to move and sp they're, we're sorry, squad three is going to move and split one part and have them stashed over in these buildings over here to the west and then they're going to have the other fire team stashed in the village area so that way we can have some advance warning of where the enemies try to push us from. Besides that, it's going to be fairly simple. We're going to get a few 50s down, get some, uh, maybe get a mortar down. I'm not sure yet. We're mostly going to try to vent their mortars. Our mortars are going to be of less value. All right, so that so was the we're not really going to use them unless we, briefing we really think we, we have some competent people who can get that job done. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions? As we swing it over to Burns, so we'll listen into that. That sure. appears to be a no. Let's kill them all. All right, everyone, get to your positions. I'll call up. So blah, blah, I'll call us ready, and we're gonna we're gonna get this. Okay. Killed many people before. All right. Well, looks like that was the end of that. <laughs> so ends the U.S. brief. We got to listen to the last seconds of it. Oh man. Oh, by the way, to some people talking about picking up squad and everything in chat. It is currently on sale. Actually, I believe it's 40% off over there on HumbleBundle.com. So if you want to check out Squad, get into some of these One Life operations, and you want to do it on a budget, now's the time to go buy Squad. 40% off on HumbleBundle.com. All right, both teams have their plans, and the live time has been set. We'll be going live exactly in 60 seconds. Vehicles and weapons will be hot, and uh, we're going to see how this operation turns out. If LaRue can come out with another overwhelming victory, or if Best Pony can shape up, reconsolidate, reevaluate, and hold the line. You know, after that first round, he needs to shape up a little bit. We'll see what he's able to do. By the way, I have to mention something earlier that, we, that I saw whenever we took a little... Uh, Took a little break. Somebody asked. Somebody said we don't allow parkour. Did they allow a a tactical parkour uh, option in the game? You know, I really wish that that would be a thing. Actually, they kind of have it coming down V10. We've seen some of the animation updates. There's going to be vaulting and climbing and all that good stuff. So. Oh, on the upper stairs, tactical parkour gonna coming your way soon. We're, we're not going to try to hold the upper stairs. If you get time, they're doing a lot of good stuff to this game. I'm excited to see where the WR goes with it. Negative. We're going to have. All right, we're live here in five seconds. To be up there. All right, time to okay. strap in. Get ready. Yeah. We're live. Let's go. My wife and I put their sandbags in that breach to our south. And the game is live. Russians now loading out in the MTLB plus trans. They've opted to put the transport in front of the MTLBs. An interesting choice, but they might be dismounting uh, well ahead of the uh, engagement zone. And it looks like those first lodgies have pushed off. I believe Muff Bandit, one of the guys in there. A couple of guys diff mount actually, as they get the gas station. Muff Bandit being one of them. And they are going to push into this building on the north side. Looks like they're going to take up residence in there and see if they can get some sort of overwatch on this lodgy truck. It's to remind you guys of what's going on, this lodgy truck that is sitting right here in the middle of gas station, the Russians can retrieve this lodgy truck, and if they are able to do so, they can run it as much as they want and set up a mortar cop somewhere east of the Delta Echo line. So we'll see if they're able to do that. In the first round, Pony was able to do it. He was able to get those mortars. He was able to set up his mortar cop. He was even able to do a lodgy run or two, but ultimately, he was unable to use them effectively in the assault. We'll see if Rue manages to do a little better with that. That's the yeah. Right here. Peyton, go cancel. Damn, I'm right there. I'm right on What'd you say? This building's a no go. Looks like Muff has his lad out. Looking at that lodgy truck, he might take a. He's he can't take a shot at it before they actually pick it up. But once they pick it up and try to escape with it, he can take a shot. So. 
That's just a little rule for fairness. Just we don't let them, you know, try to, yeah. to take a shot before it even happens. We want to Russian sure infantry Russian. reaching their staging point now. They're going to be able to dismount here momentarily, and they're going to set to take that lodgy. We're going to see if uh, America is going to be able to deny this logistical truck. Hopefully, Pony can redeem himself this round. We'll uh, see how this pans out, though. Yeah, I'm excited to see how he's able to do this time around. Yeah, people in here talking about picking up squad. Definitely check it out on humblebundle.com. There is a good sale going on. 40% off. Then you can head over after you buy the game, get it downloading. While it's downloading, you want to head over to squadops. Yeah, squadops.gg. Get registered. Get in here. Be a part of this. All right, once again, going over the uh, vehicle assets for Russia. Russia does get two times MTLBs and right here we have a very nice clean overlay made by CMYK Matter himself and you can see here that these MTLBs are very light skinned but fast transports they're armored they can support and they can transport they won't go head to uh, they won't go toe to toe with enemy BTRs or strikers but they will hold their own when it comes to moving uh, troops around and uh, very very light fire support So a little bit of the differences here, you know, we saw in that first round that LaRue decided on the U.S. side to put an entire squad surrounding this Lodgy in various places. It looks like they've opted to just put a fire team up here for Best Pony. And actually, even that, there's only a buddy team actually looking at the Lodgy. The other guys are kind of sitting off to the side here. So a different location for that. Meanwhile... A very similar approach from the Russians here as they dismount on the west side and start to push a couple guys up towards the gas station. It's going to be a little bit towards first, till first contact as they work their way in here. But once we get Very it, interesting building choices by America here. Uh, one of these uh, buildings does have eyes directly on the lodgy. Uh, but the second one is pretty obscured by that tree. We're going to be able to see here if uh, U.S. can react in time or the swipe. Muff is up here. He's given the lat. Uh, Pony goes, you know, Muff, I trust you. You're going to handle this, and uh, we'll see if Muff's able to lock down this Lodgy by himself. You know what? You say that that is pretty obscured by that tree, but this other lat that I'm behind right now, that is Merrick 362. Uh, I'm right where he would be if he stands up, and he can see that thing very easily. So this is an interesting building. I haven't seen this building used yet. So we'll, see well hopefully he doesn't happen. hit those uh, window <laughs> sills because that I, would be uh, pretty tragic. I have seen that happen before. You fire a rocket and it sits there and burns in the windowsill. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just makes me sad. Every time that happens, you know, you just pour one out for the, the dead so rocket. Gotta, you know, they don't know where out. we are now. So. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? I mean, what's up? All right. Bird person cover us. Let's cross. Our second MTL Everybody cross. Bird person cover up to the lodgy and call for guy. Set, uh, sprint across. Shattered up. ritual on your screen there. Yes, if, if he can drive, like, directly up Looks like he's heading northeast. Like he's near U.S. Maine, starting to make a push on from this western, western, western direction. It looks like first. Pony or LaRue is opting to kind of do a western approach, you know, where there's that southwestern approach that they had. He's got a couple guys over there, but looks like he might be opting to do a little bit more of a straight approach from the west with at least Shattered Ritual squad. LaRue taking it extremely cautiously here. He's going building by building, taking it extremely slow. Uh, but the U.S. is on the far side of the objective. So he might be able to buy a lot of time. Uh, U.S. might be able to buy a lot of time with these empty buildings. You know, while we have a couple seconds here, I'm going to take some time to go over the wonderful squad leads that are making this all possible. We didn't get to do it at the start here. So for Russia, squad lead one is Shadowed Ritual. Squad lead two is Satan. Squad lead three is led by Odessa. And Squad 4 is going to be led by Xbit with Command LaRue. And over on the U.S. side, Squad 1 is X Brisinger. Squad 2 led by Dermoplast. Squad 3 for Burns. Squad 4 for Digit. And Command, Best Pony. And then us flying around in the sky. Karma Cut and CMYK Matter, your commentators for the night. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. A great night for Squad Ops. We did have a great first session. The second... Session seeming to be just as explosive. Uh, and we'll see how far uh, U.S. can continue holding this uh, Logitruck or if Russia will be able to snag it.
pop it. Somebody asking, is there any time limit? You know, we wish that there weren't, but due to the nature of the game and the maps that we have currently, there is kind of a time limit uh, set by the map, which is at one hour and 39 this, minutes. Excuse me, this Lodgy on this north is about to get ambushed yeah. by uh, small arms. Both Lodgies actually bypassing each other. There's going to be a lot of small arms coming out on these Lodgy trucks right here. One lack goes off. Second one does not connect. He's going to pull right out of there. He's probably going to pop. He gets caught on the barrier. Yeah, People abandoned. Interesting choice. He <laughs> lats <laughs> one on one. <laughs> the, I think he got a little confused there. I think I think there was a good old bait and switch right there with the Lodgies. <laughs> I think uh, that lat thought he was shooting the original Lodgie. But that first one is sitting right there and the second one took the the second lat shot that was extremely entertaining to watch <laughs> a little benny hill moment you know <laughs> both lodgies alive and intact because those lat shots were spread between the two unfortunately that lodgy that is alive and intact the it is just kind of sitting there while the russian forces surround it and dentric alive but he ran into a building xf though close to that gas station looks like they might Try to make a play. Bravo, let's keep moving southeast. Silverman just below Muff. They're getting ready. They're putting some eyes on there. Some shots go in on the north. Looks like Dentric fighting with Shadow Ritual Squad. And we have and our first Dentric casualty. Right, yeah, first casualty. Dentric goes down to Shadow Ritual Squad. It's up to you. LaRue, uh, command, you just know. below Muff Bandit. This is a really risky place for LaRue. As the second he peeks this corner, he might get spotted by that second fire team. He's checking this building with his face. I don't know what he's doing as command. This is going to be devastating if he gets picked off by, uh, by Silent. And, there it is. and that's, that is Russian command. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, command needs to be in the rear yeah, with the four, gear, and four. there goes Russian Command. That is the first 10 minutes of this round. Russian Command decides to stick his head in the wrong building. Got eyes on the front door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just listening to comms, there is a good moment. Satan goes, I think Command's down. Shadow Ritual goes, yup. <laughs> Southeast of us. Oh! <laughs> That was silent death that took him out, too. It and was. was just with like... a saw. There's no way you're beating a saw in a staircase. That is that is a no-go on that one. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, take a moment, stare at LaRue's body, and uh, let's lower our heads for a moment of silence. All right, <laughs> Huge good enough. tactical funny. <laughs> <laughs> we might not see Best Pony redeem himself, but we might see LaRue make some blunders as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what a hard time that is <laughs> what a rough game we're having right here press f to pay for spec. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy shadowed ritual squad now pushing up they're just below muff uh where, where muff the rue went down the mm -hmm. patience that That's muff has has not even peaked for once just sitting in that building, making sure that oh, nothing okay. happens. Right yeah, you know, you can't beat us on a staircase. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you know, actually, that, that's humorous. Somebody just mentioned Pixel 464 calling out, you know, both commands died on a staircase tonight. <laughs> Best Pony going down on that staircase at the end of the first round. And, uh, he was the last one alive, but... LaRue, not the first one to die. The second. First one on his team, though. And Muff, still the patience as that MTLB clacks along. You can hear that thing. Muff not moving a muscle. Good discipline. Good patience. He's waiting for that Lodgy. They're working on the building. I just heard Satan call out that there are definitely contacts on this building. They know that that's where command went down. And we'll see if you can beat a saw in a staircase. Oh, a Lodgy gets popped up to the north. 
That was the MTOB. I believe that was the one that was uh, originally yeah. captured. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're going to see if this saw right, guy, is going to be to hold it. Russians slowly making their way up the staircase. Checking floor by floor. They're going to get a nice face full of 762 if all goes as planned for silent death here. Yeah. Looking up the balcony, I don't see any. Yeah. shooting at us. Go on the staircase. There it is. And he gets another one. Oh, That's going the out. One lat hits the lodgy. Let's see if Muff can finish it. Oh, no! Muff barely misses. It's red, though. It's hurting. It might pop. Muff hit just underneath the... It oh, popped. it does pop! It popped. Muff goes down, but with his mission completed, I call that a good engagement for the U.S. U.S. now pulling out. Uh, they, they've succeeded in disabling that Lodgy recapture, and they're going to try to exfil. We'll see if these last three remaining U.S. troops are able to get out alive. You know, not only were they able to destroy that Lodgy and make sure that that's not going to be a problem later, they were also able to take down the command for Russia. So, successful mission there in my books. All right. It yes, looks like, right, I'll have my empty of these dude. Looks like two people behind your squad. No, three people still alive for the US in this AO. They might hold here, we'll see. They're kind of surrounded. They have to know that. There's a large right. Russian force pushing up to their south. Let's see if they're able to get out of here. It might just be that the orders are to hold till the last and take out as many as you can with you, you know? And in these buildings, there is a great, great advantage to defenders watching these corners. You got to be breaching this with uh, fragmentation if you plan Oh, no, fragmentation. I, I know what happened last time you mentioned that. <laughs> there's, some, uh, there's some shame going out the other there night. There was on, some uh, shame. <laughs> on a bad operation name. fallen tree <laughs> what a great <laughs> clip that was though <laughs> yeah, just throw a grenade in that door there there's two guys in here I saw just a regular rifle oh did this player like... go down no there's three there's three there's a lat a saw and a standard oh, okay, rifle okay. I see I see I see Russians grenades breaching with grenades in. You know, though, though command went down, it looks like the plan was already in place. Shadowed Ritual takes over immediately, and he is already commanding this. So even though command himself is down, plenty of capable squad leads to take over his position and tell people where to go, what to do, all that good stuff. Where are they? He's right in front of me. He's in that hallway right in front of me. He's looking west. He's in that hallway right in front of me. He's looking west. copy. Looking west. There could be more. He was. He might have been. All right, looks like they're getting ready to push in here. And these three soldiers are actually buying a lot of time for U.S. Uh, there's they not are. too much going on outside of this area. They try to first preacher comes wall. in. We're gonna see what happens. Cover left. Oh, who is there. this monster? That is Merrick 362. Merrick, Merrick dropping bodies with the anti-push aggression. He's going to peek it again. Tags another. Putting rounds on target. Merrick with some excellent shooting skills. You know. Oh, Frag goes in, though. Oh, uh, he, oh, can he get in the corner? He does he survive. He's, He's going to have to bandage. He's bandaging. They called it. They're going to push him. And then pushing, oh you lose too much. Oh my god, this saw. They should not be messing around with this building. Oh my god, Merrick is just dropping bodies out here. Wow. So, a Peyton. quick, <laughs> a quick tip. When you have enemies bottled up in a one entry point building, you don't need to breach it. You wait for them to come out. You post maybe one guy outside that door, and now you flip the scenario on him. Instead of trying to breach a non-essential building and losing five guys <laughs> for nothing, <laughs> you can reverse the uh, the breaching if you hold on the other side. Because there's only one way out of this building. There's only was, one way out. 
That was amazing. You know, Peyton QQ covering for Merrick. Merrick had the bandage, and as they push, they are looking for Merrick bandaging in the corner. And then Peyton QQ just lights up the guys that try to push in. Man, great team. Excellent communication. Excellent team. Excellent. Excellent. And you can see Merrick with that counter aggression, not just waiting for them to peek the corner, but peeking the corner himself and engaging those targets before they can reach that corner. That kind of aggression is critical when it comes to CQB engagements. You know, he's able to take down five, or they're able to take down five in this area. Three guys holding in a non essential building, able to take down five. And it looks like Pony is in good shape to uh, blow up this uh, this second round here with mortars denied and a disgusting swap of uh, swap of casualties at the lodgy. Uh, also with Larue going down trying to breach a building, Pony's in a good uh, position right now. All he has to do is not fuck up. <laughs> oh man, you know I do believe. One thing that they do have going for them, one thing the Russians have going for them, they still have both of their MCLBs. You know, they were able that is to keep true. So we'll see if they're able to work with that. The problem is they have just lost so many guys to unnecessary pushes and seeks. Yeah, it also looks like because Russia spent so much time on near U.S. Maine, very few Lodgy supplies were able to be dropped onto the point itself. So that itself might actually become a, a bigger issue as we near the endgame. And we can see the Russian forces have finally made their way up here. They've pushed off of that center area, and now they are pushing into the village that is north of Herman Castle. That Herman Castle, though we haven't seen it in a few minutes since the start of this, because there's been some <laughs> intense stuff going on, that Herman Castle is actually the objective. So that thing that you see off there in the distance, and the Russians have now pushed one squad up here. We've got another squad up north. And it looks like they are finally reconsolidating their forces to make the actual push. They do have both of their MTLBs up. If they can use them to great effect, they might be able to actually get through these defenses that you guys have set up. A brilliant display of how contact can happen all over the map, even though we have a single point objective. A great display of how the pacing works within squad ops. You, there are large areas where you might not be expecting contact, and then suddenly it hits you like a truck out of nowhere. So you yep. always have to be ready, and you have to be expecting contact around that corner. Otherwise, if you let your guard down and the enemy exploits that, that could lead to some massive casualties. Absolutely. Now, the U.S. still has a couple guys hanging out back there, the three that uh, were in that area, Merrick and uh, Merrick and Peyton QQ and one other with him. And a couple guys sitting off here to the south as well, uh, just kind of holding, scouting. They're making sure that, you know, the push isn't coming from the west, but they're going to know that they eventually have to start maneuvering back. Man, Merrick 360. Ugh! One of the stars Merrick, of the stream. Maybe. Yeah. I, I feel like we need to grab Merrick after this, get an, get an interview, see if we can get a, get an interview with him. Maybe. Oh, I bet you his heart was pumping. <laughs> we need to... We'll see if we can get uh, our producer back here, Penn, see if he can coordinate with Merrick after get an interview with him. Because, man, what a star. What a star. What was that, Tim? Oh, man. Beautiful stuff. All right. So getting back to this push, though, the Russians have managed to push themselves up here. Guns of the Guns and Thurman yeah, Merman holding in that MTLB right, right here. And, you know, though there was a lot of craziness going on, ultimately some uh, a good amount of the command elements are still up, except for command himself. A 50 cal opening up from the castle. He spots contact far to the north. Wow, what a couple of shots coming out very far. Coming in on Krusty the Sailor and XF. XF laying prone right now in this field. Krusty the Sailor out to the east you know the mtlb is lighting up a building where there's nobody there they think that the contact might have been coming from there i don't think that they realize that that is hmg shots completely from the castle up on that roof all right keep pushing guys we're gonna push through this the there's a left of the someone gets tagged crusty gets tagged he's got a bandage up let's take a look at this hmg wow on the uh east southeast side Russians now occupying that northern hill, but we'll see if it's enough. Let's They've uh, taken a good amount of casualties so far, also losing command in the earlier engagement. And uh, U.S., though not completely fortified, does have a good amount of sandbags here to kind of defend. 
Absolutely. You can see this is the HMG that they were taking fire from. This thing, it is embedded on a roof, just overlooking that whole area. Great positioning for it. You know, though they lost one Lodgy, there's still another Lodgy making runs. Yep, Lodgy runs have continued for the Americans, and uh, Pony's going to get right back to defending and building up his defense. Yeah, there they were able to get a hit on it. They were not able to take down that one. They did have to surrender one of their lodgies. Kind of crashed into a pole, took a lat hit, had a bad time. Everybody was a little freaked out. <laughs> had a bad time indeed. It was a little bit of a bad day. Dentric, poor guy up there. Takes fire. He's like, you know, man, I'm just a truck driver, just trying to make my way in this world. Shattered Ritual, not letting him have it. <laughs> Copy, are you looking at it right now? Nope, it is. In Looks like that MTLB might get engaged pretty soon. It's pushing in close. Copy that. About off, about New MTL position north. is Fox 3. Keep. All right, Burns telling them to go ahead and open up on it. I think 50 Cal Fire just took out someone here. Yeah, there is a, there is a casualty from Russia and a squad leader by the looks of it. Nope, that's an AR down from the uh, 50 Cal. RPG oh, goes out, left. narrowly misses. That's enough to scare and that MTLB a little. Yeah. Pulling it back now. Hmm. Copy that. There, the These lads are scary, Pony, man. Yeah, Pony's doing a great job of playing the time. He's delaying this assault for the longest amount of time, and we'll see uh, how that can benefit him. Most li most The most uh, obvious benefit is more Lodgy runs, more defenses, and uh, hopefully mortars if he can get those up. You know, he's keeping a pretty tight defense here. He has at least two squads inside the defense proper or inside the uh, location proper. He's still got those two squads or that squad that is out there to the west that was taking engagement earlier. They're kind of maneuvering themselves back into position now. And we'll see what they're able to do. Yeah, you know, squad leads one and two, chilling inside the actual defense location. Pony deciding to call those two uh, infantry on the north back into the compound. Absolutely. You, you know, yeah. it looked like they were just trying to do a stick and move, you know. Get out there, try mm -hmm. to put in some shots. See if the MTLB rolls up too close, then pull them back. Shadow, live on your screen. Starting with the assault here from the north. They're going to just kind of have to do a little bit of an ad hoc assault here. They were not able to get up the mortars, and they lost a lot of guys earlier, so he's just going to have to piece something together with the position that they have. They do have those two MGLBs, though, that they can hopefully use to great effect. I'm really surprised at uh, the lack of mortar use from the Americans right now. The mortars apply so much pressure, especially on assaulting uh, infantry. Um, but... Yeah, we'll see why, uh, what happens in due time. The MTLB putting some shots in. Getting close to Stinky Pinky. He takes cover. He's going to be okay. Yes, yeah, pretty hardened up right now. They don't have to worry about mortars because that Lodgy did go down. And uh, I think one U.S. soldier, yeah, on this uh, far northwest did get taken out. Squad 2, do you know what direction that heavy gun's facing? All right, well. Couple casualties back and forth. We'll see what happens here as they get close. They've the Russian forces have started to take or started to take position on those northern rocks. Now this last part of this push where you have to actually shove across this road can be absolutely brutal. The good news for them, US losing one of their lodges. Oh, here comes the smokes raining in on the road. They're gonna billow up and they're probably gonna push under this. Now one thing we always talk about, you throw smokes, you push. <laughs> so yep, you don't smoke wanna... and push, smoke and push. I get so frustrated when I see smokes go out and then they just sit there, you know? <laughs> I'm really confused as to why we have not seen mortars come out from uh, Best Pony. Is he down? Where is Best Pony? You know, he might be dead. Oh, he's off. No, where is he? Is he dead? Best Pony, not dead. He hasn't had a death yet. Where is he? Oh, he's in the center here. Right, oh, okay. Next to the fob. Oh, here comes the push. Russia pushing in on the north. Leading the charge is the Silver Man across that road. Yeah, let's try grenades over the wall. Here they come. 
They're gonna make a push on this northeastern door. Now there's no cover up here on this upper level. These frags are gonna do a lot of damage. This is gonna kill this guy, or at least uh, wound oh, him. Oh man. As you've said yeah, many times. Grenades. There's no cover up here. I'm One not sure what Pony's doing. He doesn't have any cover up here on this upper layer. Uh, I guess he's deciding to concede the upper layer and hold the lower, but he's giving up a lot of high ground if he does choose to do that. His fob location is on the lower in the palisade in the southwest, actually. Interesting. Interesting choice. He's done something different. You know, every time I think the fob has been up top. So maybe he has decided to just turn this lower area into kind of a hellhole, you know? Concede the north and or concede the top and just let them yeah, kind of yeah, try to push in. Uh, yeah, you can see there's absolutely zero cover up here. Frag grenades being extremely effective because of that. Right. And uh, looks like Pony's just trying to harden up directly around the um the fob. Watch those stairs. You know, I think that that's what they're trying to do is just turn this lower area into you know a really terrible fun house filled with bullets and fragmentation <laughs> the one main problem i see with that is they've conceded that northern area which means that or that uh, upper layer which means that russians will be able to take that and shoot down into the compound and right, you, you never want to be fighting uphill right. oh here's close to contact and a U that's digit goes down on the southeast. He's not even gonna have time to call out that contact. He came around the corner and just got dropped. Do you have a bearing on that? Logistics trunks could also refer to swimwear of choice for logistics professionals. <laughs> oh my god, Pixel 464. I like it. I, I want some logistics trunks. <laughs> Oh, good laugh. Yeah, this eastern approach is going to be hard for them, the southeastern approach. They have kind of a funneling system set up here where they're pushing them through one entrance. There is a fire team over here. They're getting spotted. They almost take a RPG to the face. They're going to try to spread out here now. But this flanking squad getting caught in the open. There's not enough cover out here for this push. I'm very confused at what's going on. And once again... Man, Merrick nearly down. Peyton QQ and Merrick are the two that were here. They're just kind of holding out. These are the guys who earlier did such a good job. Merrick now at this corner. He Merrick dropping another out. one. Oh, oh, and he finally gets taken out. What a beast. What an absolute beast. <laughs> Merrick ending up with six downs. Wow. What a job by him. Peyton QQ now the only one left of that little group. He puts out a smoke, letting everybody know exactly where he is. <laughs> oh, frag um, comes out. It doesn't manage to kill anybody, though, on the Russian side. No, there's white smoke. This one lone U.S. soldier seems to be forgotten by the Russians. He's going to be able to open up on the flank if he waits and is patient enough. You know, they saw that smoke come out. They have to know somebody's there, right? Maybe they... Maybe One would think. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's residual smoke. You know, the, the car tossed it. It didn't want to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one guy gets dropped coming in. That was MD Grimm going down. Mindsteel pushing up on this corner. They're taking some shots up top. So he went down. Not a lot of aggression coming out from Russia right now. A lot of uh, stoppage on this east. They're, they're stacked. They're finally now breaching the upper compound. Now, this is the moment for Russia to strike if they have the uh, direction to. They can take this upper compound and shoot down into the lower one. But uh, other than that, it doesn't look like they have the numbers to breach this. Yeah, you know... There was a HESCO placed up here that was kind of blocking this area. Uh, they were able to dig it down and get in there, though. And that is legal to do. You're not allowed to block entrances normally, but since this is like this messed up half wall thing here, uh, we don't count that as a technical entrance. It's anywhere that you can walk. It cannot be blocked, so. All right, here comes the assault. We have a Everybody... U.S. soldier on the, on the upper, on a corner. He's going to be able to see a couple of these guys. He's loaded out with a saw, so he's going to be able to do a good amount of damage if he can get in the right position. 
He's about to drop on one right corner. here. Yeah. Over there. They're, they're, they're and he sees him. On the other side of the building to the south. Holding his fire, waiting for the perfect shot. Oh, Sunny goes down to Rose Dragon here on the south. All right. Rose Dragon pushing through. They're getting control. Getting control of this upper compound. And here's what you were talking about. Now that they have control of this upper compound, Rose Dragon is able to lay in shots on the Palisade and take one down from up here. This is what you were talking about with that high ground. I'm not sure why Pony would concede this ground. It gives too much uh, advantage to Russia. If they can get on top of these roofs, get on the uh, top of these parapets, they could do a lot of damage to the U.S. And that's exactly what Russia is doing. They're using this high ground. Hey, oh, that was, I don't even know where that last shot came from. I have no idea. XF nearly dead. Stormfront still holding this. Good shots coming in. Joker Sully goes down. Stormfront holding on this southern side. The MTLBs have pushed up into position. They're going to try to rain in some fire. We'll see if they're able to do any work. And here's what you were talking about. They have conceded that upper side. And now, look, Russia has a good foothold. They have over a squad in here no, getting a sure, foothold. Definitely, there was some contact earlier down there. It's all going to come down to the game of angles. Who's going to play the angles better on the assault of the lower compound? MTLVs working that southeastern corner. They have eyes onto that... Uh little outcropping on the southwest side of the compound and pony's gonna get end up getting locked into this compound in the uh, west and if he gets fragged out that Radio could be gg we'll have to see shadowed ritual just called out lower level on the west seems to be the location of it he saw all those different defenses down there pony has put together a maze of sorts it's Here gonna come go. down to good gun skill at this point it's damn near even. Alright, trying to get in position here. Some shots coming in. That MTLB has pulled itself right up. Does the U.S. not have any lat left? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they do. Shots being returned on the Russian forces up there. The frag goes out. We'll see if it's in a good location. Oh god. Uh, blows up, doesn't really do much. Just threw it at the MTLB. The MTLB just putting fire in. Oh, one of the Russians go down. And you know, there is a US force coming in from the north. Looks like four guys yeah, up here, but the MTLB the has seen them and is now putting fire on them. They're the actually That's using... actually the US's old HMG position oh, on that go. hill. Br Rose Dragon up there on that HMG, laying in fire. Good heads up play by him to say, you know what? I can use this. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's what I like to see. Yeah, so right now, U.S. playing very awkward angles, having to fight up the, uh... So they've done on, a decent job. Look the at this. They wipe, they wipe out five They're... Russians up here just kind of chilling, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see this work. I think what's happening is the fact that there's no cover up there. There's no cover up on that, uh, upper platform. So even if the Russians did take it over, there's no cover for them. Just like how there's no cover for the U.S. <laughs> oh, Frank's so that, going in, though. Take out one on that lower area. One. Yeah, that was a good grenade. That was a great grenade, yep. We're down to five Russians and about oh, ten yeah. U.S. Numbers uh, leaning towards U.S. Um, and it does look like Pony's going to be able to stop them. A very awkward defense, but it's going to work out in the end. He does have a small force coming in from the north as well, if you see that three guys. Yeah, the three-man fire team up here on the north is going to be pushing down here. 
Uh, a firm, you should have enemies yeah. on the east side. That is Swan, Pokesmot, and Pedal. Pushing in from that north. That MTLB in the southeast here, though, just terrorizing everybody. <laughs> That is crazy. I've never seen the MTLB roll up there. This force that's up top, if they're not careful, there's going to be guys coming in from their north here. Piddle, Pokemon, yeah, MTLB, and I am Swan. MTLB actually ended up grabbing a couple kills there. Great. On the stairwell now, we have one U.S. soldier on the corner. He's he, he was sleeping. Still manages to get the kill, though. And that bandage sound is going to get him killed. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does. And here comes the, the force from up there at the top. Actually manages to wipe nice the last way. of them that was up top. There's now just one on guy in the we compound. Enemies on the lower half. And this whole Russian assault that we thought had a great position falls apart in an instant due to bad execution. Yeah, really awkward match we had here round two. <laughs> it's true. I, I don't really even know what to think of this. Uh, Russian command face checks a building. <laughs> there's no mortars on the defense. There's no. I, I I'm very. I'm I'm pretty. I'm pretty puzzled right now. At what happened in this second round? They have done you a surprise. Yep. I'm I'm legitimately. Surprised one of the first times in a long time <laughs> how this match played out. I am I'm taken off oh. guard. <laughs> Very confused. Oh man, you can see on your screen here we're following the last Russian in the compound alive. That is John Daly. Relatively a new guy, actually. He's probably a little scared. There's one more that has pushed into the compound on the south. That is Thurman Merman, so we do have two Russians that have managed to make it into this compound, and now they're going to have to go through Pony's little hell that he set up over there. We're, we're going to call that my little hell hole. That's what that's going to be over there. Got him! Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Russians are yeah, pushing in on foot. They're going to try to breach this maze. Oh, there goes John Daly. Pony's Thurman got Merman. a pretty elaborate defense here. Elaborate? That's the, the last player? player? One of them. Or is the MTLB... Did the MTLB gunners dismount? Oh, no, no, no. There's still... There's still a couple. We'll see if these Russians are able to make a push here. The uh, MTLB is pushing up. He's not going to be able to do anything from this side. He might very well in. dismount. Russians trying to look for another way to breach this compound, but doesn't there look like that's going to be possible. There is no other way. One door in, one door out. Remember, there's talks about fragmentation. Nobody probably has any frags left. The MTLB drivers and gunners probably do. Actually, yeah, you're right. Let's see what he's able to do here. Like he's, he's trying to figure. This. He's trying to figure it out. He's trying to deconstruct this puzzle that Pony has built <laughs> for him. <laughs> it's a Rubik's cube of defense, you know. Oh, he, oh, takes and he goes. He it. gets shot from the uh, from the opposite side. Two Russian players left here. Now we got one on the upper, and I think one driving the MTLB. Oh no, two drive. These MTLB drivers are still in their uh, vehicles, so that's actually very good to see. No one's abandoned their vehicle yet. <laughs> <laughs> they try to uh, ram the sandbags here at the MDLB. That's that's not an effective strategy. Fuck. You know, I beast. think it Oh, oh, who's that? Truck actually gets burns in the rear. All right. Piddle's going to be waiting for him. They're going to be coming around this corner hot on each other's tails. Did that MTLB see him? I don't know. Truck pushing this corner, though. Oh, he, did he get tagged? Oh, no, he's still yeah, here. He got tagged. No, he was he got tagged. Truck, though, not taking the opportunity to push Piddle while he was banned. Oh, here he goes. Might cost him. Here he goes. Guns up, though. No, he's going to peek slow. Oh, he's looking the other... Piddle. Uh... Oh, he oh, gets him. Piddle goes down. 
But there's one more. There's one more in the building. Truck sees him. Put shots in. Small one-on-one -on -one engagement here. Trading back and forth. Another one, though. Guns are the guns coming up. He's going to get flanked right here around the yep, corner. And he, he goes, goes down. down. Russia evening it out. I think it's now 4v3. And it's just the three that are holding that little... There might be three My little hellhole. Hell yep. <laughs> That's it now. So we'll see. You know what might actually work pretty uh, pretty well here is if Russia uses their shovels. Shovels could be the key to this maze. It could be the answer to all of their problems right now. If they enable or find a way to roll the MTLB in and then dismantle the fob to where they can get the MTLB a shot, that might be the key to this great puzzle. But you know, uh, we'll see what happens. Truck and guns are the guns have no idea that this whole lower compound is clear. Uh, they're throwing out frags and smokes like it's not clear. They're, they're scared of peeking the stairs. So they have no idea. And that's one thing about, uh, about squad ops. We don't allow you to communicate after you go down. So unless information is specifically passed on before you go down, there's no way of knowing what's safe and what isn't. Exactly. Gonna follow these guys around in the front of your screen here. Guns are the guns in the back truck up there at the top. That MTLB is no longer gonna be of any use to them. They need to abandon that thing and get on the actual assault. Alright, follow him in here. See if he's able to go. Now a bunch of people have died while coming around that corner because they've been able to fire sand or fire through the sandbags. Putting shots in up top on the palisade, but not going to do much. It's just that little bunker right here with three U.S. inside. Guns are the guns running around trying to trying to understand what this all is. You know, he's going through <laughs> very much the thought process that uh, <laughs> they went through earlier. Like, what are this? You know, just checking it out. <laughs> he doesn't yet want to enter the maze. <laughs> he's walked past the entrance quite a few times now. Not confident enough to enter the maze. If they can dismantle a part of the maze and make an their own entry point that might be safer to do but we'll see if they opt to do that oh wait here we go we might have somebody breaching through on the north he's running around this is truck who managed to take down a few earlier might actually uh he, he peeks it and he jumps and says oh, okay that looks scary they're they're doing the same thing. Look, they're like, I don't like that area. They maneuver around <laughs> trying to go through the door. You know, no. I don't like this. I don't want this. I don't want to do this. This feels icky. I don't want it. <laughs> Is that MTLB still manned out there? Yes, I believe. Oh no, no, no. Oh man, a frag grenade coming in. A little bit loud. He puts it up top where there's nobody. All right. Grenade. <laughs> they don't get any ideas, right? He says, should we breach that door no. to the left? <laughs> They're going to be very disappointed when they find it is an empty room. <laughs> I was going to wait here in the empty room and watch him come in. The right, I'll take left. Yeah, you take the right, I'll take left. Oh, man. There's nothing here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, they can't know right though they have no idea so you know we're teasing them a little bit but these guys can't know that's no palace that's a battle station. what the <laughs> all right so they gotta be in the room where the radio is at yeah, they, gotta be <laughs> they say all right they, they gotta be in the room where the radio is. well i mean you know 
Using the power of deduction. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. Rush is going to make a play. Yeah, we're going to have to dig. All right. This is what U.S. has been waiting for. This is what they trained for. Oh! Oh, we can oh my God, he doesn't see him. Oh, he no. does not see that player. If he had one nade, we could put it on the bottom. This bottom uh, entrance. Jake. They're gonna smoke the room. It's gonna be hard to peek. Where are they throwing that smoke? You sh uh, pushing through smoke is one of the hardest things to do in this game. Yep. <laughs> oh, they're gonna go up top. I think they're trying to go up. I'll go first. Oh, here we go. They were going in. Don't we have a nade? Oh, nade. Nade, 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 coming back. Oh God. Oh, it's okay. All right. One's going upstairs. No, that was his frag. Now here they start to push in. Puts in some shots. Doesn't hit anybody. Reloading, reloading. It's smoking There's down. a U.S. gentleman clear. behind them upstairs. that they don't really know is there yet. All right, we're gonna touch this. A kind we're gentleman, just once. just sitting in that area. Absolutely kind bury gentleman. me in here. I feel like high bales everywhere. Rainbow Six Siege at this point, yeah, they wish they had thermite, the... you know, put a hole through that wall <laughs> so they can breach in. Alright, oh. I'll go in first, I'll cut left, uh, Revy, you want to cut right, and then... Does he see that Turk barrel? Is... He must see that barrel. They're getting okay, ready. Let's go. Oh, come let's on! Go. Two, three. Here goes the push! Oh my god, we have ammo! They managed to take down the two that were inside, and there's still two up. Oh my god! They did it! That is absolutely insane. They are bleeding, they are bandaging, do they know that there's one left? Lon completely missing the train. They're gonna work on these... Yeah, they're gonna start working on this fob here, but there's just one U.S. soldier pushing in. Just making sure he's dead. He's just making sure he's dead. Double first tap. Yeah, do you want to dig? Oh, I'll... Oh, oh, no! One on one now! You got it covered? He says you got it covered. He's dead. So you just take shovel it, right? Bonzo. Here he comes. This is the final peak. Oh, he's gonna get oh, shot man. in the side looking the wrong way. He does know the layout, or at least he should know the layout of this room. He's just real reluctant to peek it, you know? Oh, he has a... Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh! oh! Oh my god, oh my god, he hadn't reloaded! That Russian had not reloaded his rifle! No! He had to switch! The... <laughs> I what am I watching? This is- this fits the theme of the night completely, though. Here comes the push, he's pushing around that corner. Oh, and oh he gets a Russian's god. win! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh what? my god. Remy Beast. The last oh alive god. Remy Beast. I I don't I don't even know. I, I don't, don't even, even know. Understand. <laughs> I'm so confused by this game. This <laughs> no. second round was so oh confusing god. to me. Oh the uh the quote of the night, oh bonsai yeah. as they make the final push. My brain <laughs> is so confused yeah. right now. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I don't we know that I even want to know what happened. What just happened? happened? My brain can't even process can't that mad Russian work. What happened? Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to pull in a couple of people for uh, post uh, reviews here. Um, we're going to be we'll grabbing get Merrick. A few more. And uh, hopefully the commands, we can get the commands. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll get the commands. Because I need to pick Pony's brain. <laughs> <laughs>
You mean yell at Pony? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I, I want. I legitimately want to know what he was thinking. Oh my lord. I am so very, very confused. What a wonderful night. That was... <laughs> I had a good time, if nothing else. Alright, looks like we got right. Best Pony in here. Alright. So, Pony, oh. rough night for you. I wanted to rip my hair out of my head when none of those three guys, like, got tagged the second they peeked that hab. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, I want to ask you a couple questions. Round sure. one. Round one. What was the? Uh, what was your intention of firing the mortars before your infantry? Uh, the intention was they already knew where my mortar fob was, so I only had like one mortar's worth of mortars anyway. So I might as well soften it up a little bit. I see. I see. Um, that was a real. You you were man you managed to grab and snap that uh that lodgy out of there, and that was extremely impressive. Uh, I just I I was. I was upset. I was ups I was I was very, I was rooting for you there. I was rooting for you. And uh, I saw I saw those mortars land too early and then that breach was 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 very was very aggressive, very aggressive. What what do you think you would change? What would you change in that push? Let's see. Um in that push Huh, there's there's not really much change honestly. Like this at some level <laughs> we got outshot at every single level of that match. Like, you look at the kills, you look at the deaths. Tactically, we moved at the right times, we moved to the right places, but every single time, we, we just, we lost all the trades, you know, and sometimes that just happens. Because that worked earlier today perfectly, so. Did, it felt like you had a pressure, you, you felt a time crunch or a pressure on you after you had fired the mortars. It seemed like there was a lot of rapid movement going on past buildings that were not clear. Were you feeling some, uh, what was what was the pressure you were feeling to get that movement going fast and, and instead of clearing that northern compound? I had a dwindling number of troops and clearing the northern compound was a waste of time uh, when I only had enough people to maybe make one good push. If I wasted time clearing the northern compound, I would have lost probably one quarter, maybe one third of the remaining 16 people. At which point, it's impossible to make any kind of effective compound breach. I see. Not that the I compound see. breach was effective, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> if if you know, we we smoked a little more, threw a few better frags. That that was a solid place to breach, and we got in successfully. But then everyone just got shot, which is a problem. I see. Like we I also see. have Larue joining us here. Yes, Larue. I want to ask you, what were you thinking? Checking that building with your face <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was um i saw a fire team on the other side of the road and i was like all right guys on me let's go clear these buildings because they weren't clearing the buildings uh very fast <clears throat> and um they're like yeah we're on you right so i start going i i peer the corner and i'm like oh they're not with me <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I was like, you know, I'll just this is the one building where their lat is probably just lying there. I'll peek the corner and I just see a prone uh, saw gunner just destroy me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was, was a rough uh, one. That was a rough one. Um, Matt, round two, Pony. Uh, what was your thinking not utilizing mortars on the defense? I'm curious uh, why you opted uh, for no mortars. Uh, the whole defense was planned around the lower compound and thinning out the Russians as they pushed through there. So mortars would not be effective because the Russians would be within the minimum 50 meter range, uh, likely when we were engaging with the mortars. And also, as you saw, that the lower area is very vulnerable to MTLB fire. So the MTLB would just drive up and shoot them. My goal was to prevent the enemy from getting mortars and then use my supply runs to focus on building a very strong series of bunkers and kill houses in the lower half of the base and then thin the Russians out when they were forced to come in after us. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting tactic. Um, I would have liked to see. I, I would have liked to see mortars utilized on the defense. I think uh, that would have been extremely. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's one of the things that pressured you on the offense in round one was Larue was firing mortars in your direction that kind of put the gas on your infantry. Um, I do but, yeah, it was very effective use of mortars by Larue in the first round. That was yeah, really very well effective done. use of mortars. Um, yeah. But other uh, overall, great performance by both of you. We're so glad to to witness these two matches. I was genuinely surprised by the outcome of both. Um, so <laughs> that so at I'm, the end. 
that push at the end. Wait, um, wait, I gotta ask LaRue, how how excited were you as they, they yell bonsai and make that final charge? <laughs> I was I was trying not to laugh. It was I, I thought they were dead for sure. I thought that uh, the defenders had a really good position inside there, uh -huh. and when when they didn't die, I was kind of like, oh, well, oh, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> watching that peak when when that U.S. infantryman pushed the door, and watching that that AR gonna go click click, and then have to transition <laughs> to his pistol, I think was one of the best things I've ever witnessed within squad ops. I've never ever seen that before. <laughs> But thank oh, you so much wow. for uh, dropping by. Do we have Merrick in here? Uh, we're not going to be able to get Merrick. He, oh, he okay. went bye-bye, sadly. But, um, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming out and watching. Thank you to the commands for host, uh, for, for putting us up. Uh, this is squadops.gg with Operation Rook. Uh, One Life Events. Find out more at squadops.gg. If you'd like to see more of this, subscribe to our YouTube at youtube.com slash squadops and our Twitch at twitch.tv slash squadops. Thank you so much to my co-host, Matter, uh, one of our content creation leads. He does great work on the overlays and uh, putting together those awesome, awesome, little, awesome trailers that you guys saw tonight. My name is Karma Cut. I'm the founder and director over at Squad Ops. Thank you so much for joining us. And then a special thank you to Penn, the man behind the magic, behind the scenes. God, you don't hear Penn. his voice. You don't see him, but he's here. He's doing all the work and he's, he's making the streams. He's the ghost of Squad Ops. And uh, <laughs> he makes all those multicams excellent and uh, makes a great viewing experience for you guys so thank you all if you'd like to win a copy of squad remember to head over to twitch.tv squad ops thank you so much for joining us this is squad ops signing off <laughs>